Not even comparable. This is so much better than like this is dream bread. This has 140 <laughs> calories. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll eat it. Coach Greg, and today I'm going to share what I eat in a day in the off season just to maintain my current physique. So what I do is I don't actually track calories, I don't track macros, I just eat, okay? So I eat a lot of low calorie dense foods, I eat foods that taste good, that are really filling, and that allows me to just eat, okay? I don't have to think about it all the time. So unless you're actively trying to diet, you don't need to always count calories. By just eating low calorie dense foods, you're going to be able to lose weight. So meal one, I start with, I have my coffee. I had a hard day. I cracked it, smashed it the first time, and it wasn't a good start to my day. But it's gonna get a lot better because I'm about to eat my favorite blueberry French toast. So, as you can see, it's prepped in advance. You don't need to freaking cook every single morning and complain that you don't have time, okay? So, you just grab your French toast. You can see they're not the same size. Some are small, some are big, and you just grab it. Throw it on the plate, shove it in the microwave, and there. How hard was that meal prep? I also have some fruit that's already been cut, which obviously saves time. I didn't cut it. I don't know how to actually do this. You might know how, I do not. And of course, I'm going to be using Miss Buttersworth because it's only got 20 calories in a quarter of a cup. That's a lot. I'll probably use a half a cup because I love my syrup. You don't need to use this. You can, of course, use Walden Farms or any other low calorie syrup. A lot of people make the stupid, idiotic mistake of using regular syrup. You're gonna have more calories in the syrup than you had in your freaking French toast, especially if you drizzle it on. Or even worse, you're using hazelnut chocolate sauce. What is wrong with you? You can't eat that stuff. There's too many calories. What are you, six? It's a kid's dessert, and kids shouldn't be eating this anyway. Why are you feeding your kids junk? It's a chocolate bar. Why are you spreading melted chocolate on a French toast? It tastes good enough as is. Doesn't it look good? Oh, it's got blue stuff. It tastes amazing, trust me. This is gonna fill me up, and it's made with regular ass bread. And no, that's not a name brand, it's just white bread. You can have Ezekiel, you can have whole wheat, but you don't need to, there's no rules. Eat the bread that you want. It's not gonna make a big difference. Eat what tastes good, enjoy your breakfast, don't skip breakfast. People that skip breakfast, you end up getting hungry later in the day. Ghrelin increases, punches you in the freaking face and makes you starving. So you end up binging all night. You ever had those crazy cravings at night, snacking on chips and stuff? That's what happens. If you eat early in the day and spread out your meals and not just fast all the time, you will be less hungry and be able to maintain your weight much more easily. So trust me, if you're watching this video and you're not as lean as you want to be, stop skipping breakfast, make it taste good, and then spread out your meals so that at the night time you don't eat too many snacks. And don't eat a bunch of junk like chips. Eat the popcorn. So basically what I do, I throw this stuff on and then I shove as much syrup as I want all over this thing and then I just eat. So simple. It is so good. I often, I ate this three times yesterday. Depending on the day, I don't have a set diet. Every day is something different. I have about 20 foods that I like the most, and I eat the ones I want from that 20. My cookbook has over 100 recipes, 100. You don't need to like all 100. If you only like 10 or 20, that's plenty. You pick the ones you like, and you eat them till you're full, so you're not starving all the time. You eat the ones that taste good. You might not like all of them. Some people think my apple goop tastes like apple poop. I love it, but if you don't, don't eat that one, eat something else. So yeah, I'm having a long day. It's one of those days. I've already broken my coffee and now I'm spilling freaking rice. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't even know we owned rice. Apparently Allie got some rice and maybe she makes it, I don't know. You guys know I don't eat much rice, but that's the kind of day I'm having. I can't hold anything, but that rice was upside down. 
it was upside down. And I didn't know that it had a lid like that. So I just picked it up and of course the whole thing spilled out. It's only 10 in the morning and I have to go to the house in 45 minutes to do another walkthrough. It's not gonna go good. I'm bringing the camera because anything that's not good, I'm filming. I don't trust builders, I don't. So we're gonna see how that goes, but it's one of those days and I got a lot of work to do and I don't have time for this kind of crap. Okay, it's 11 o'clock and I go to go to the new house because I gotta go and walk through the inspection. I'm sure it's not gonna be done properly, whatever, but I don't have time. So I'm just grabbing one of my homemade score protein bars. This sucker, 220 calories, about 23 grams of protein, but I'm not counting the macros. You just eat, it's a snack, it's a snack. Okay, I'm allowed snacks. It's an optional snack. Sometimes in the morning, I have an optional snack. Sometimes it's popcorn. Um, I, I, today is a busy day. It's just you grab it and you go, and yeah, I'm making time to make this video, but it's, been, it's just two minutes. And so that's my second thing that I'm eating today. So I'll call it meal two, but it's not really meal. It's a snack. So I've eaten the one meal, the French toast, which was freaking delicious, and this. And then I'm gonna do the builder, and then we'll see what I eat at my next meal. Okay, so this is completely done. 100% perfect, finished, ready to move in. Oh, but it's not. Does this look painted to you? Oh, sure, it's one coat. You're telling me that's the best you could do? Really? Is that clean? It's dust everywhere, look at this. Does that look clean? Oh yeah, great door, yeah, oh, it's all finished, look at that, yeah, okay, yeah, perfect, amazing, builder of the year, oh yes, terrific. Like, I don't get it, this is so discouraging, like, I don't even want to be here, I have too much freaking work. How is this done? It's not done. Like, finish the job, pretend it's your own house, pretend you're moving in, and then give it to the person to look at. If somebody hired me to do this, I expect their best work. I expect them to do the best that they could do. Friggin' paint harder than last time. Really? I'm not even a painter and I can paint better than that. Okay, the closing date was November 17th. It's May 22nd. So it's not like I'm like, oh, if they're only a couple days late, it's six months and a couple days late. I mean, why is it taking so long? Why can't it just be done? Don't get it. Look at this beautiful $30,000 staircase. Or maybe it was a beautiful $20,000 staircase. This is glass. You like that glass, guys? Man, I don't know if I have skill, but Turn that into glass, wouldn't that be beauty? You see that? It's a foot and a half too high, but they said, oh, it didn't have the part to lower it. It's a twist. You twist it and it gets lower. We cracked. Oh, we didn't crack it. Well, then don't put it up, leave it in the box and we send it back and they give us a new one. Doesn't that make sense? See these little scratches and dents? I bet if you wouldn't have like a bare thing and show, shove tools all over it and scrape it around, if you actually covered it, it might protect from things like that, you know? It could potentially protect damage. If I was handling an $11,000 countertop, I would be really careful. I'd put a covering, like maybe some cardboard on it. And this is clean. This is 100% clean. Like the last time we came was worse. They said, yeah, we cleaned everything. So if that's clean, why is it full of like dusty grayness? If I hired a, 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 a cleaning company and they came in and they left like this, I'd be like, hey, I'm gonna hire you again or hire somebody else to do another cleaning. Cause it's not clean. This is like a final walkthrough. It's not like the house was bought on sale. So it's meal two. So, so far I've had the French toast and you saw the fruit. I had the protein bar. It's two o'clock now. So that gives me, it's six and a half hours since breakfast. Meal two, okay? It's gonna be wraps. The wraps I'm using, the, my favorite is Tufayon. 100 calorie wraps. Joseph's 
which you've seen before, 120 calorie wraps, which actually have 160 calories because they lie about how much it weighs. Say, per half of a wrap, 32 grams, so times two, quick math lesson, that's 64. And it is not 64, it is 73. So you can see it's got more calories than it says because it weighs more. And this is the one that's, you can see it's been broken, it's a little bit messy, and so it's a little bit. And I've weighed several of them and they always vary. So this one's probably only an extra 10 or 20 calories, but it's not always accurate. And it's probably about 20 calories extra, so let's go with 140. But regardless, be careful. You can't just trust what labels say. So, important. You need a base layer. Okay, so we've got a base layer, and the reason for that is there's going to be a lot of sauces. Now, this is the vegetables portion. Okay, so I have some ground turkey. Ground turkey. And I just put some, sprinkle it on the top of these wraps. Now, I'm not on a diet. I'm not weighing this out. I don't know how much I'm putting. I don't really care. I just put a little bit. Now, that's it. Does that look like a lot? You don't need five pounds of freaking meat. It's not important. You don't need that much. And I'm gonna put some of these things. These are Eve's veggie pepperonis. There's 45 calories and seven grams of protein. So not bad. Just throwing a little bit of stuff in there just for the fun of it, just for some flavor. And then we throw on some of these deliciousness vegetables. You can put anything you want, obviously. Oh, and by the way, my cookbook has these recipes. Tons of wraps. I think there's 13 different kinds. So you, you can eat like this. Babe, are you singing? <laughs> I'm the gay girl. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're loud. You're not supposed to be quiet. When are we ever quiet? I know, but... Am I, I ever quiet? I'm trying to be quiet for your videos. When do I want to be quiet in a video? Remember you yelled at me when I was talking the last time? Well, that was when I was doing something in front of the computer. This is me eating food here. There are no rules in the kitchen. You're gonna put that That's on. correct. <laughs> all right, I'm going to... Okay, I'm a big mustard guy, so I'm going to show him the mustard. Mustard all the time. <coughs> Some of the sauce. So you see, with the base layer of lettuce, it's not going to go through. Always have backup. Oh, I don't have pickles. pickles. I got so much stuff in here. They get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, And 35 calorie three cheese dressing. All right. So next step, I have to microwave this for a minute. I microwave it for a minute because I don't want the spinach part to like disintegrate. So I cook it first and then I take it out, then I add the spinach and then I microwave more. So I put about a half a serving of vegetables, which is about 50 calories worth of vegetables. If you just put spinach, it's gonna be a lot. So you don't need to just put, they can put anything you want. There's no rules. It's gonna be under 700 calories, somewhere 600 to 700, depending on how much sauce. I don't know exactly, but that's it. This is going to be a lot of food. Just think of it, it's 600, let's say 650 calories. Do you see how big this wrap is? Look at this thing. And we add some spinach. And so you should barely be able to shut it when you're done. It's way smaller than I normally make. See how much room there is here? So trust me, this stuff can stretch. Look at this. You can stretch it way over and it doesn't rip. It doesn't rip. This one, if you try to do it, and I'm not gonna do it too much because I don't want it to rip. If you strap it over, you have to be careful. You eat it like this. So that's my wrap, okay? So it's like you eat it side. I'm not gonna eat it because it's just gonna make a mess. But anyway, that's meal two and I had one snack and stay tuned for more. All right, it's four o'clock and I'm getting a bit sleepy. You guys get sluggish. So I'm making a coffee and have some popcorn, another snack. I'll be racing my bike on Zwift later today. Today's my day off from weights. I'm only lifting weights three times a week. Well, three or four every other day. 
So today is a bike race day. I'm not lifting weights, but I'm tired. I've been working on plans all day. I'm starting to feel. So I'm going to make coffee. Here's my coffee. Chocolate syrup. Two sugar things. Fake sugar. Cancer causing. Just kidding. No cancer. Some mocha, my favorite mocha of the Walden Farms. And this was the discovery of the month for me. This is Joya Milk, and it's available at Superstore, but probably half of you don't know what that is or can't get it. But anyway, it's 0% fat milk. It's got 16 grams of protein per cup. It's only got 110 calories. So it's high protein milk, okay? Extremely high. It's about double the protein of normal milk. It's got one gram of fiber and 10 grams of carbs. So I'm just gonna crank that up. I love it, put lots in it. And then I got my trusty toothbrush here, electric toothbrush. So check this out. So what it does, it gives it a bit of froth. When I moved to my new house, I have a, a, a coffee maker. Let's just say I had to get this coffee maker. It costs $6,300 for a coffee maker. And it doesn't come with the person that makes the coffee for you. It's actually $6,300. Ali wanted it that badly. I'm like, this is $100. I don't know what the difference is, but apparently it's good. I could have had somebody from Starbucks deliver me coffee every morning for $6,000. So I better make the best coffee ever because I'm not going to be happy. Also, sometimes I add cocoa. I'll put cocoa on it, and if I want it to be more like hot chocolate, I'll cocoa. I'm not in a hot chocolate mood right now, just more like want coffee, but that's the plan. And of course, Gertie wants snacks. Gertie wants snacks. Right, Gertie? Gertie loves a snack. It loves a snack. Me and Gordy are actually having a popcorn eating challenge. We're gonna see who can eat a bag of popcorn faster. Allie thinks Gertie can eat popcorn faster than me. I don't believe it to be true. Although she did get into the cat litter and ate about five pounds of it. So that's pretty impressive. That was yesterday. Five pounds of cat litter that thing ate. I don't think I could eat five pounds of cat litter. And so we have our coffee and we have our popcorn snack. And together, this is about 250 calories. That's it. And it's going to wake me up. I'm going to keep going. And then I'm going to have a pre-workout. And I'm going to go and race on a Zwift bike. Okay, so it's 9... So it's 9.30. And I finished a bike race about an hour and 20 minutes ago. And my appetite's finally back a little bit. I showered up. And so it was a 50 kilometer bike race and it took an hour and 15 minutes roughly. Average speed was around 40. I burned 1100 calories during this. The average watts, I, it was, watts was 255 or something, multiplied by 3.6. Doesn't matter your body weight, it's how much power you're actually putting out. It's hard to freaking eat when you're going that hard. Like it kills your appetite. So those of you who are like, Oh, I'm so hungry all the time. Try doing cardio harder than last time. Like, harder. And eventually you'll get to the point where you're going really freaking hard. Today's race wasn't as hard as usual, but it's further than usual. So I'm like tired from that. So this is my shake after. This has been done for like, I don't know, five minutes I've been sitting. It's thick. So on my cookbook, I have, I don't know, 15 recipes for freaking shakes. This is mind blowing, ridiculous, amazing. I have the Rise Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup Protein Powder. You don't have to use that one. It's just the best tasting one. You use anything. So I have it pre-prepped. So I've got that in here and I've got PB2 in it. And I put one and a half servings a fruit. There's strawberries and bananas. It's all, it says exactly what serving fruit. It, it's all done for you. I'm not going to, I don't have time. It's a freaking, what I eat in a day. So I'm going to eat this. It's just over 400 calories. 400 calories. I burn off 1100. I literally need to eat three of these to be in a surplus. I can't eat three. 
So even if I tried, I would lose weight. I burn off 1100. If I ate three of these, I'd be at 12. Guess what? I'm still burning calories right now. I'm talking, I'm moving. I showered. So I'm in a deficit for sure. Now, I didn't film this, but before the race, I had one French toast. Whatever. I didn't have time to freaking do it. I was doing a video on Devin, Bernardo, whatever. So I didn't have time. I had one French toast and I had BCAA, EAA from Rise. And I drank two freaking liters. Of, well, not two liters, two water bottles full during the race. I weighed myself after the bike race and I was 195. So there, that tells you how much I weigh. So let's think, what did I eat today? I had a bunch of French toast and fruit for breakfast. Then I had a protein bar, homemade score protein bar. Then I had the three wraps. Before the bike race that I did earlier, I had one bag of popcorn, smart pop popcorn, of course, and I had one French toast. I then, so I'm eating my freaking anabolic shake here. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna do a bit more work, and then I'm gonna have one more meal before bed, probably popcorn and some form of protein. I haven't decided yet, we'll see. I eat by what I feel like eating. I don't get up in the morning and say, oh, I have to eat exactly this. I go by my hunger. I'm not contest prep diet. Remember, this is off season. What I eat to maintain my gains, my main gain eating routine. I'm eating right and it's all because I've got over 20 years experience in learning and knowing what to eat to keep me full and satisfied. If you do get the cookbook, I suggest you try as many recipes as you like, maybe 50, maybe 100. Pick the 10 or 20 that you like and eat those often. Eat those when you like. Still eat your normal diet. Don't get rid of what you love. No, you don't have to only eat from that. You can still eat something normal. Maybe you eat a hamburger from McDonald's once a day. That's okay. The other three meals a day, maybe the other four you eat from the cookbook. It's fine. You don't have to always follow it. You can eat what you want. It's an addition to your diet. It's a way to change how you eat, the way you look at food. Whatever you're eating now, if you're not as lean as you want, if you're suffering, it's because you don't know how to eat. You don't know how to make the correct choices. It's easier than you think. It really is easier than you think. The problem is we were raised, that's right, we were raised by our parents incorrectly. Most people were not taught to eat for satiation. They were just eat what tastes good. Doesn't matter if it's healthy, just eat. Hot dog, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's go to Dairy Queen, let's go to McDonald's. Yeah, okay, let's just eat. Let's celebrate, it's a birthday. Let's eat as much cake as we can. Let's shove it down our faces. Oh, you're one years old today. Shove this birthday cake down your face, even though you don't even know what a birthday is yet. Let's have you blowing out a candle, even though you have no clue what one year old means. You don't know what two years old is. How many of you remember Christmas at age one or your birthday at age one, two, or three? Not many, but yet we forced the kids to eat birthday cake. Get that sugar rush in there at a young age so that you crave it when you're older. Anyway, that's enough writing. I'm gonna eat this, finish it off, and I'm gonna eat a bit later when my appetite comes back because the calorie deficit is real. And when you do this much cardio, very easy. That's right, easy to lose weight. It's easy. Your body wants to be leaner. It wants to be fit. Nearly 11 o'clock, so this is the last meal of the day for me. I was just watching Allie with her grilled cheese type sandwiches and her cheese sandwiches. I'm like, man, I'm craving some of that. So I got my light butter here, and I hardly put any, because butter has a lot of calories. So I'm putting light butter. This is regular ass bread, regular white bread. But I also have one, this is like high protein bread. This is dream bread, okay? So obviously, depending on where you live, you may or may not find this exact style of bread. But everyone has regular ass bread. So everyone can make grilled cheese. Depending on what you have available, you can obviously choose what's best for you. These are just craft fat-free cheese slices. A lot of you have different cheese slice brands, it doesn't matter. Pick whatever you got available. Four grams of protein and 25 calories in that. 
So what I do is I double it up. So we put two slices on each one. So these have about 150, 160 calories. This is about 140, but it's more dense. Protein bread basically is more calorie dense than regular bread. So protein bread is good, yes, but you don't need it. You can add protein to what you're eating. So it's not like you have to have it. A lot of people are panicking about bread and how it's so bad for you, but like seriously, it's very comparable to rice. And a lot of you are eating rice in your diet, so why not? So I'm just gonna cook it like this. I have it on four, low setting. Let it brown, flip it over, and then I always eat it with ketchup. And those of you tracking calories, I, I quickly added up in my head, I'm around 2,600. This is about 400, so that'll put me at about 3,000. So today it's going to be a low cal day, 3,000 calories. I did 1,100 of calories on cardio. So it's a big deficit. This is a cut day. So this is like dieting for me. So if I eat this exact meal or this diet every day and did that same bike ride, I would get shredded on this. This is low calories. You're thinking, well, how are you losing weight on 3,000 calories? I burn off 1,100 on the bike. So that's really like eating 1,900. So imagine a 200 pound guy eating 1,900 calories a day with this much muscle. That's a deficit. If it's not, you have problems, okay? So tomorrow, because I'm eating so little today, I'll probably end up eating a lot more, okay? So one day you might be low calorie, night the next, you might eat the same amount of calories every day, but some days you burn off more than others. In the run of a day, week, month, year, that's what decides if you gain or lose weight. So don't be like every meal needs to be exactly this many calories. If I eat 2,500, I got to divide that by five, five meals a day, 500. No, you might eat 2,000 one day. You might eat 3,000 the next, 2,500 the next. It averages out to 2,500 a day. Some days you're in a surplus. Some days you're in a deficit. It doesn't matter. It all works out in the end. It doesn't matter what you think. It's the end result that matters. So if you have a 10 week diet, so long as you averaged out to be in a deficit over the 10 weeks, that's okay. Don't worry if you had a bad day. A bad day would be you ate 2000 calories too much. Well, that kind of sucks. It might take you four days to get back off on those 2,000 calories. The problem is if you give up and then you give in and you have 2,000 and you're like, ah. Oh. And the next day you're 1,000 over and the next day you're 2,000 and then before you know it, you gain 20 pounds. But if you eat over the limit one day and you get back on the wagon, you eat properly, eventually it'll all balance out. You'll be all right. So I just added three little tomatoes because I just am hungry enough to eat that. And Gertster wants a tomato. Oh yeah, I like the snack. This is the protein bread. I'm gonna compare. What is it? Which one's better? Okay, protein bread. Not even. No, no. Not even comparable. This is so much better than like this is dream bread. This has 140 <laughs> calories. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll eat it. 14 grams of protein. This only has like five grams of protein. So obviously that's the better choice. But this is a bit bigger <laughs> and it tastes way better and it's bigger, more filling. So really, we eat enough protein. We do. It's not like, oh my God, I need 500 grams of protein. I eat well over 200 grams of protein without even really trying. So do I need to eat the dream bread protein? No, I don't. But if you want to get high protein bread, that's great. Okay. If you eat high protein bread, you don't really need the protein in it. But there's cheese slices in here. So I'm getting my protein anyway. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, IFBB Pro. Blooping up two videos over here. Make sure you buy my flipping cookbook as long as you want. If you don't want it, just watch the video and copy it. But if you really want the best choices, go get the cookbook. You know you're going to benefit from it. And until next time, I am out. You still think Gert can eat more than me in the popcorn challenge? For sure. Right, get, get.
Oh, oh, oh. Frig. We have to put her on a diet. Oh, 